Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of tanj 5x dx. So we have here integrals of hyperbolic functions. So here are the formula that we must use when evaluating integrals of hyperbolic functions. So you just need to memorize them. Okay, so going back to the problem. So let's use u substitution first. So I can let u be equal to 5x. Getting the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Equal to the derivative of 5x. So that will be 5 dx. So we have created this dx term on the original integral. We just have an extra coefficient of 5 which we don't need. So I get rid of that by dividing both sides by 5. So we will have du over 5 equal to cancelling out the 5 dx. And then substituting in the original integral, you will have tanj of 5x which is equal to u. And then this dx equal to du over 5. So this over 5 or fraction of 1 fifth is just a constant. Let's put in front of the integral. So we'll have 1 fifth integral of tanj u du. So we will have 1 fifth times integral of tanj u du looking at the formula. Integral of tanj u du is equal to ln of cos u plus c. So therefore we will have 1 fifth times ln of cos u plus c. And let's just transform back this u in terms of the original variable. u is equal to 5x. So we will have 1 fifth ln of cos 5x plus c as the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of cosine x such of sine x dx. Okay, so let's use u substitution first. So I can let u be equal to sin x and then getting the derivative of both sides derivative of u it's du derivative of sin x is cos sin x dx notice we have created that term cos sin x dx in the original integral which is now equal to du if we substitute we will have the integral of such then this sin x is equal to u finally this cos x dx is equal to du. So let's just evaluate the integral of set u du looking at the formula. Integral of set u du is equal to 2 arctangent of e raised to u plus c. So we will have 2 arctangent of e raised to u plus c. But let's transform back the u in terms of the original variable. u is equal to sine x. So we will have 2 times arctan of e raised to u which is sin x plus c as the final answer. For number 3, we have the integral of quantity 2 cos h x minus cos x squared dx. So we just expand first the square of the binomial. So applying the shortcut, we will have the integral of so squaring the first term, so we have 2 cos h x quantity squared plus the product of the first and the second. So 2 times cos h x times negative cos x. Then we still need to multiply them by 2 plus the square of the second. So negative cos x quantity squared then the dx. So simplifying further, so 2 cos h x squared, that will be 4 cos h squared x. Then 2 times cos h x times negative cos x, that will be negative 4 cos h x cos x. Then plus the square of negative cos x, that will be positive cos squared x. Then the dx. So, if we integrate term by term, notice here that for the integral of 4 cos h squared x, we already have a formula for that. Integral of cos h squared u du is negative cos u plus c. Also, for the integral of negative cos h x cos x, we already have an integral formula for that. Integral of cos h u cos u du is negative cos h u plus c. 
But for the cos squared x, we don't have yet an integral formula for that. So what I will do is use the Pythagorean identity for hyperbolic functions. So we will have 4 cos h squared x minus 4 cos h x cos x plus. So what's the Pythagorean identity for cos squared x? So that will be in terms of cos h squared x, which is equal to cos h squared x plus 1, then the dx. So notice, we can combine 4 cos h squared x plus cos h squared x, so that will be 5 cos h squared x, then minus 4 cos h x cos x, then plus 1 dx. So we can distribute the integral symbol together with the dx, so we can integrate term by term. So we'll have the integral of for 5 cos h squared x, so this 5 is constant, let's just put in front of the integral. So we'll have 5 integral of cos h squared x dx, and then minus the integral of, so this 4 is constant, I can put in front of the integral. So negative 4 integral of cos h x cos x, plus the integral of 1 dx, or simply integral of dx. Now, evaluating each integral, so we have 5 times integral of cos h squared x dx. Looking at the formula, it's equal to negative cos x. So, we have 5 times negative cos x minus 4. The integral of cos h x cos x, looking at the formula, it's equal to negative cos h x. So, negative 4 times negative cos h x. Plus the integral of dx is just x, then don't forget the plus c. Simplifying, we have 5 times negative cos x, that will be negative 5 cos x. Then negative 4 times negative cos hx, that will be positive 4 cos hx plus x plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.